Have you ever been on Amazon and you come across a weird product and you start asking yourself, should this even be sold on Amazon? Well, today I bought products that I think shouldn't be sold on Amazon and we're going to test them out, starting with a baby doll phone case. All right, guys, let's take out the phone case. I'm not gonna lie. When I saw this online, I was like, okay, this is weird. But when I took out all the products from the Amazon box and I saw it in person, I was like, this is weird and creepy. Like this is a 3D baby doll. Just look at this. Guys, this is a fully functional baby doll and you can't even twist the head. Did they just glue this with a hot glue gun? And that's, that's what it? That's what it looks like. I want my money back because I could have easily made this. This was like 15 or $18, guys. I could have just gone to the dollar store, buy a baby doll, glued it to just a clear phone case and call it a day. But I'm not gonna lie. This is an easy and smart way to make money. So I gotta respect the hustle. Now let's put it on the phone so we can see what the phone case is actually going to look like. Just look at this. Imagine you go to a coffee shop and you just see someone answer their phone and all you see is this. Like, you cannot lie. This is pretty weird. I want to know what do you think, so comment down below. Up next, we have a remote control poop. Huh? Let me just show you what this looks like. So once you open it up inside, there's a small remote control and to move the poop, you press here, which is actually in the shape of a plunger. And then instead of honking, it makes a fart noise if you press this button. So let me show you guys what the poop looks like. Now listen, I know this is kind of weird and it looks kind of gross, but for some reason, I feel like it looks kind of cute. Am I the only one? Yeah, I think you're the only one. <laughs> Anyways, I think it looks cute because look it even has its own little license plate it says speed poo like come on let's turn it on and let's test it out let's see Ooh. oh i think you should try it on the floor it's already farting i didn't even press the button and it made the fart noise Bruh. all right let's test it on the floor i feel like on the floor it's going to be more fun because we can just move it everywhere so here we go imagine you have guests over they just walk in and this is all they see just the poop moving around and then once it gets there, For this next one, we have a fidget toy. Now with this fidget toy, you can release some stress by pulling blackheads. It's not only cute, but it's fun. And also it can turn into a keychain and you can collect all of these little characters here. And the one that I got today is Peekaboo. So let's take it out of the box and let's see what this looks like. Now it already comes with tweezers. So literally everything that you need is in this box. So let's take it out of the bag. Look at this. Okay, this is pretty weird, but let's see if it actually does work. So I'm gonna get it close to you guys so you guys can really see whenever I pull out the blackhead. So let's do this one right here and let's pull it out. Oh, that is actually so satisfying. Like when you pull it and then you just yank it. Let's do one more. Oh my God. Oh, that one has two, two in one. Oh, for some reason, that was just so satisfying. Moving on, we have a Shrek toothpaste attachment. This won't make sense unless I show you. So let me just take it out of the bag so I can show you what this looks like. It's a 3D printed Shrek, but it's not a toy. This is a cap for your toothpaste. So you attach your toothpaste here. Once you flip it over and you squirt out the toothpaste, it comes out from Shrek's... <laughs> Like what? Who comes up with these ideas? Now on Amazon, it claims that this is for kids to make the process of brushing their teeth a lot funner, you know, and get a good joke of it. I think it'll be a funny prank to just leave it in your restroom and Imagine. if you have guests over, they're just gonna be like, what is this? <laughs> so you just take off the cap that comes with your toothpaste. You just screw it on. There we go. And then are you guys ready? Here we go. <laughs> oh my god that is freaking hilarious it would be really cool if i was able to find a green toothpaste i feel like that would match the shrek vibes a lot better <laughs> Next, we have these fish flip-flops. Now, why are these on Amazon? Who would even buy these besides me to test them out? I have to give you guys a close-up of the sandals because the detail is 
pretty good. Look at the eyes, the color, the shape, everything. They look pretty legit. I'm going to keep my socks on because if you guys thought I was going to show you my toes for free. Nope. Mm -mm. So let's put them on and let's test them out to see how comfy they are. Okay, they are pretty comfy, not going to lie. Let's put them to the test. Yo! On a serious note, guys, the sandals are pretty comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. It almost feels like I'm not wearing anything. And I love the design of the fish. You wanna know something, Jason? Out of all the fish in the sea, I got hooked on you. Uh <laughs> I don't I don't know how to react to that. Bruh. Next, we're gonna test out this funny dog charger. Now, this dog is supposed to dance while your phone is charging. So let's see what it's all about. Here's a close-up of the charger so you guys can see. That's where you plug in your phone. So let's plug it in and let's see what dance does this little dog do. Here we go. See, does it even charge? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Wait, I was not expecting that. I did not think it was going to do this kind of... It, no, it said it was going to do little movements like dance, but I, I was think, not expecting this. I think that's what they meant when they said it was going to do a little bit of movement. Why is this on Amazon? Out of everything that we have tested out so far, I am shocked. Like, what they need to specify better in the description, what kind of dance movement it does, because I was definitely not expecting this. <laughs> For the next item, we have a pizza candy. The candy does not look that bad. It actually looks pretty good. It also comes with a decent amount of candy. And the little container is really adorable. So let's open this and let's give it a try. Here we go. Cheers. Oh my God. That is so bad. Jason, try one. Nah, I'm good. You have to. All this right, literally, right. you can taste like the pepperoni and the tomato sauce, like the spices. Let's try it. Oh, that's nasty. It, you can taste the garlic. Exactly. That's what it is. Flavor wise, I'm going to rate this a one out of 10. The flavor is actually pretty bad. I'm going to rate it a three out of 10. I can see somebody that really, really likes pizza will enjoy these. You must really love, love pizza because other than that, I don't think they're that good. So we're just going to keep them in a little container and we're going to put them away. <laughs> For the next product, we have bacon flavored toothpaste. Huh? Let's give this toothpaste a try and let's see if it actually does taste wait, wait, like wait, bacon. Before, before you do that, does it actually have like bacon? <gasps> what are the ingredients? Okay, the ingredients are sorbitol carbo. Oh my God, these are some big <laughs> words. Uh, show me, I'll try to see. But no actual bacon, just bacon flavor. Okay, but not okay, like okay, legit okay, bacon. Okay, okay. I don't think they could do that because they'll probably expire. Hey, you never could. know, you never know. <laughs> This smells so bad. Okay, it's not red like bacon. It's just regular like white toothpaste. Oh. Oh my god, I'm gonna Oh no, no, this is so bad. Let's put a little bit of water. I'm doing this for y'all. Y'all better like this video because oh my god, here we go. <laughs> this is not bad. This is horrible. Like I can actually Tastes like the bacon meat flavor. Like, mm -mm. let's move on to the next product. All right, guys, for the next products, we have a Play-Doh, but not just your typical Play-Doh. This Play-Doh has a grown-up scent. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I have to unbox them so you guys can know what I mean. For example, this first one is Overpriced Latte, and then we have Spa Day, and then we also have Mom Jeans. Huh? What are Mom Jeans supposed to smell like? Lord of the Lawn, Grail King, Last but not least, we have Dad Sneakers. Okay, I'm excited to unbox these first. Let's see, what do mom jeans smell like? Let's open this. No, this is a scam. These were also really pricey, guys. And this literally smells like regular Play-Doh. It does not smell like mom jeans. Let's do overpriced latte. I know the smell of coffee, so let's see if this smells like a latte. This literally smells like regular Play-Doh. Bro King. This should smell at least like barbecue, right? This one smells a little bit more like grill, like barbecue, like smoke. Let me smell smoke. that one. To me, it just smells like regular Play-Doh. Let's do spa day. Maybe this one will smell like eucalyptus. The packaging is very nice. I like how they put the little spa things there. The color's just pink. 
No, smell this one. That has scent. To me, that just smells like Play-Doh. I'm not lying. No, I don't. This one smells a little bit like perfume. Smell it again. Nope. Play-Doh. No way. You got scam. I was so excited. I was like, ooh, these are not just regular Play-Doh. Like, they're bougie Play-Dohs. Uh, I was wrong. Nope. It's just regular Play-Doh. <laughs> it's like just regular Play-Doh. Try Play this one. That sneakers. Hopefully, it smells like at least something. This one. That one, I think, is the okay, only one. Okay, yeah, yeah. It smells like rubber. Like leather. Yeah, leather, rubber. But literally, out of all six, just this one right here. I'm very disappointed. I have to be honest. I'm very, very disappointed. For the last product, we have a teapot. But it's not your typical teapot. Rumor has it that they would use it back in the day to their target. And you're probably thinking, Pita, what kind of teapot are we talking about? Let me show you. See, it looks like a regular teapot, but it's not. It comes with a little card in here. It tells you all the history of the teapot. If you flip it over, it comes with instructions. So let me read it to you. Step number one, you add drink A into bottom hole. Step number two, you add drink B into top hole. Step number three, if you cover both holes, it stops the fluid. Step number four, cover top hole to pour drink A. Step number five, cover bottom hole to pour drink B. And step number six, without pressure, without pressuring, any hole you will get a mixture of both drinks so that's basically how it works let's test it out okay guys i'm gonna give you a close-up of the teapot this is what it looks like this is where the drink comes out this is where the first hole is and then this is where the second hole is so first we're going to flip it over and we're going to pour the orange drink we're just gonna fill it up Hopefully it does not spill because it just does not make sense to me how I'm going to flip it over and none of the drink is going to come out. Okay, that feels pretty heavy. Let's flip it over. Okay, a little bit came out, so I'm guessing it's already full because it feels heavy. Now we're going to pour some of the pink drink on the top hole. Okay, it feels pretty heavy, so I think it's almost full. There we go. Okay, let me read the instructions again because I don't want to get confused. Bruh. So let's pour out drink A, which was the bad drink. And for that, I just have to cover the top hole to get the orange soda. So let's see. Hopefully this does work. Ooh. Yes, it does work. Now let's pour out the good drink, which was the pink drink. And for that, we're going to cover this bottom hole right here. That is crazy. That is insane. For some reason, I thought that they were going to mix together. I need to see what the inside of this teapot looks like because this is pretty interesting. Now we're going to mix both of the drinks. So let me pour the pink one in here and let's see if both of the drinks come out combined. Ooh, did you see that? First it was the pink and then the orange one. Guys, this is a very cool slash weird, interesting product. Like, this should definitely not be sold on Amazon. Exactly. Like, why is this on Amazon? All right, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. If you guys want to see a part two, let's get today's video to 10,000 likes. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any videos and it notifies you whenever I post a new video. Love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and all the support and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win, yeah LA BB who we running with